There are many great universities and colleges throughout the world, but there is only one Comedy College. <laughs> At Comedy College, we'll teach you how to juggle your balls. Go! Well, <laughs> stupid idea. Here we go! Oh. Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! We'll teach you musical comedy. If you catch your son with an S&M magazine, do you spank him? <laughs> You'll learn how to do impressions. How about somebody like Christian Slater as your psychotherapist? Eh? Yeah, doctor, I just, I don't know what to do. Just all these obsessions in my daily life, it just, it just makes it so hard to go on. I just don't think I can do it. Well, geez, you, you just need to relax a little bit, you know? Just slow down, you know? Smoke a joint, shoot some heroin. I tell you what, you come back for your session next week, I'll lock the door, we'll shoot up together. What do you say? Even if you look like a doobie brother, we can teach you how to create unique catchphrases. Do, hard, <laughs> do, hard, <laughs> do, hard. You'll learn the art of the fart. <laughs> we'll teach you how to build characters and recycle yourself. And I'm into recycling. <laughs> I am. I want to leave less of my carbon print on this earth. You know, I'm, I'm brown on the outside, but I'm green on the inside. <laughs> That's right. I'm a pistachio. It's ridiculous. People do, like I had a cute dude like you come up to me and he's all, hey, little lady, that's a nice jacket you got on there. Where do I stick my straw? <laughs> I can tell you where to shove it. We'll teach you how to use props in your comedy. Or how to correctly use props in your comedy. Because on the way here, I almost didn't make it. Two guys tried to jump me in the parking lot. <laughs> we can teach you to speak with an accent or in strange dialects like the great Tracy Ullman. <laughs> yeah, my name is Gertrude Smith. <laughs> yeah, I'm very known in the cleaning business, okay? I know I can't maneuver because the camera's like, you know, this is due. Um, you know, I'm very, very, very keen on making sure that everything is really clean because if it ain't, then I'll get the blame. What? <laughs> yeah, well, I said the other day, I said to, you know, look, okay, right, I clean for the royals. <laughs> yeah, I have to, they're dirty. They're really dirty. You know, the queen's got really bad breath. She comes to me, right? She says, oi, to me. Good. You know, and I say to her, I say, Liz, what? She goes, want a cup of tea? Want a cup of tea? And I said, no, I can't. I'm bloody cleaning, and I? Doing your bleeding work, smelly cow. You'll learn from our professional and caring staff how to remember your jokes. I forgot my 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 jokes. No matter if you're a beginner, semi-pro, or pro, Comedy College is the place to learn and master the art of comedy. I've been waiting a long time for something like this to come along. I've been doing comedy for, for a while now, and it's just kind of tough to get some traction, you know, and I'm, I, I feel it. I'm a little rough around the edges, and I'd really like to polish this up. So I, I really appreciate the opportunity. Thank you very much. Comedy College offers bachelor's degrees, master's degrees, and Ph.D. No matter who or what you are, Comedy College can help you become a successful comic. Um, before I get started, though, can everybody see me? Can you all see me okay? No, no, no. I have to ask, because when you're gay and over 50, very often you find out you're invisible. <laughs> no matter your age, or what lifestyle, race, or religion you belong to, Comedy College is for you. Comedy College is for everyone who wants to know the professional skills it takes to be a working stand-up comic. Tom Arnold, sit down. Comedy College is a safe environment in which to learn, practice, and gear up your comedy expertise. I am crippled in multiple states. We have helped thousands of people become comics and have even helped students who have physical or mental challenges, even if you're blonde. So, hi, I'm Chantel, and um, I'm having such a great day today. Something happened to me that's never happened to me ever before in my life. This morning, I woke up and I knew where I was. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, again. Oh, I always
always get you. I always get you. I'm getting you. I'm sorry. I thought this was the uh, teacher conference room. This is a teacher's conference room. Auditions are later. Come back then. Yeah, yeah. Go away. We're having an important faculty meeting. Bye-bye. I am the important faculty meeting. I was just expecting... You were expecting us to act like grown-ups? <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. Well, let's just get started. I'm afraid I have some bad news. I was sent uh, by the owner. He's gravely ill. Oh, so what's the bad news? I'll be running the uh, comedy college from this time forward. Ask me. Everybody's always asking me. I can't believe how many times that ass job was mine. Sit down. <laughs> Sit down. Oh, like Mae West said. Don't stop, dear. You put me in the mood. Ooh. Sorry to be late. Oh, uh, he teaches special ed. Well, Pilgrim, come on in. Take off your boots and belly up to the bar. Uh, hi, I'm uh, I'm Fernando. I teach uh, monologues, clean monologues. Yeah, I got a big monologue right here for you. I'd like to see that. Oh, yeah, yeah, me too. Not all at the same time. Not all at once. I don't mean that all at once. I'm. What's your name and what do, what do you teach? I'm Bill and I teach blue humor. He teaches talking dirty. That needs to be taught? Yes. I teach the art of the fart. I didn't realize comedy was so specialized. Yeah, great. He's the behind that teaches the behind. No, comedy is about structure, timing, and delivery. I got a delivery for you. Forget these two. Um, what did you do before you came here and graced us with your presence? Well, I'm a CPA. Oh, I know what a CPA is. <laughs> Contemporary Prick Analyzing. Certified Public Accountant. Oh, yeah, certified is right. And I have been at, I've been asked to be the dean of this comedy college, and I'm doing this as a favor. Well... Let no dean go unpunished. Huh? And you are? Uh, I'm me. I'm I'm C Camille. I, I I teach um, you know characterizations and impersonations. What's your best impersonation? You're fired. You are fired. Who's You're that? hired. Oh, thank you, sweetie. Who's that an impression of? Who do you want it to be? And you are? My name is Mickey. Some people call me Mouse. And what do you do? What do you teach? Oh, I, I, I can answer that. Confidence. I teach assertiveness, audience interaction. It's a real challenge for many comics. He's the mouse that roars. Well, uh, you'll have to excuse us because it's, uh, it's time to go. <laughs> oh, you know, not so fast. I have a few things I'd like to say. I have been brought in to make this comedy college profitable. I've put an ad on the internet inviting anyone to come in and audition for this school. And I'm expecting the core teachers here, all four of you, to be at those auditions deciding which courses the people should take or whether they should be in the school at all. As a CPA, I know how to make a company successful. And the number one rule is there must be mutual respect. <laughs> Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. Uh, Howard, why, why do you want to come to the Comedy College? Because that I like to laugh. I was born in Israel, but my parents thought it was a dangerous place for a kid to grow up. So when I was a baby, we moved to Colombia. 
And it was tough. It was tough because Hanok is not a tropical name. Actually, Hanok is Hebrew for unpronounceable. Brilliant. Genius. I want to marry you and have your kids. You're such a genius. I love this guy. He's got to be in the school. He's got to be in the school. Okay. Well, you know, I think I like this guy a lot, you know. I think it's good, good to have this person because, you know, he's an immigrant and he's come from another country. He could bring us another point of view that we normally would not be having, you know, because this guy, this guy has a different way of coming up in life and uh, he's not with us, but he's with us, you know. I think he's a good choice. Yeah, I like I, like. I agree. I like. Yeah. I found him to be very intense. See, mm -hmm. see mm -hmm. the eyes? Mm -hmm. They're very nice. I liked him until he put us in the toilet, spread the legs, sweetie tits and stuff. Why do they always have to go to the damn toilet for the damn jokes? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I kind of agree with all of you. You know, I think, um, uh, yeah, I agree with all of you. I'd say, I'd say I agree. He seems very confident. Well, I like, I like that. He's very strong. Mm -hmm. And he's got the, the he's height taller. and he's the... He's taller uh, than you are. So you agree with me, uh, yet you agree with them? Uh-huh. Well, yes, that's yeah. right. I, I, Tall people are confident. Let's well, vote. Uh, okay. Of course, you know, we don't have final decision, but I say yes. Uh, I give him an A. Do we need to vote now or later? Or? I don't care. He doesn't like him. No, he's got to go. I think he has a penis. <laughs> but like potential, that. don't you think potential? You like the first part. If he clean up his act, well, that's, they always that's what he's doing. He doesn't have to clean up his act. Yes, he, he does. He be, because he's doing just like every other dirty, filthy guy. Why does it have that's to be great. filthy what all the time? What planet do you come from? I, I told you, man, he's a different culture. He has to give him a chance to clean up his act. Look, stop being Tony Montana's sister Who and be an instructor for a change. Say hello to my little friend. Stop My little friend. Hey guys, uh, hey guys. So who's drinking? Any couples in the house? No? Is this seat taken? Uh, uh, sorry to bother you guys. Uh, my name is Daniel Hs. Uh, I should probably explain a little bit about myself. Uh, I live in Long Beach. I go to Long Beach State. Uh, I do stand-up comedy. I'm a UFC fighter. I, uh, a couple of people didn't laugh. They're like, well, he didn't say what age group. I don't know. Uh, the other two are like, UFC? Underfed child? Is that it? Is there anyone under the age of 30 that wear, has a shirt with a collar? This kid looks homeless. What is it? What is it? Like the little rascals, the wonder years? I mean, they're auditioning. You're supposed to, like... Wear a jacket. It's a, a, look. A, tie it's or a look. It's a look. It's a college student. It's what a look. It? What kind of look is that? Well, look, I'll tell you what I like. He's the first character we've seen today. He's a real character. And what's interesting is, in terms of the confidence thing, it's how do you do non confidence with confidence? And that's something that I think I could help him with. Because it's, you know, you, you, you've got to be strong even when you're playing a weak character. I think we could do something with him. So you think he can help his confidence? Absolutely. To do the confidence without the confidence, or the, not the confidence with confidence. So that he's confident enough about not, the not to use the word piss. Oh, come piss. on. Piss. Again, with the words. Oh my God, what do you think? Sorry to bother you. <laughs> I have a girlfriend, but I don't think that I was naturally born a lesbian. I consider myself more of a man-made lesbian. <laughs> And they say it's not a choice, but I gave up white sugar, white flour, and white men. <laughs> and my mom really likes my girlfriend. She wants to find her a nice man. She is so great. Uh, I mean, if I was a lesbian, I'd marry her. She is just wonderful. Isn't, I, I mean, it, it, she's talented, she's beautiful. She's got, got all the elements of being, you know, one of the greatest comics ever. Blind, blind people need a break. Like you. <laughs> I'm not blind. <laughs> I'm a woman like her. She needs a break. We need to put her in the school. Oh, definitely. She's pretty, she's beautiful, and she, can she see her assignments? Good eye contact. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We do. So I tested it out. I take her to Pier 1 Airport. I said, Mom, describe that chair. She says, 
I don't know. And I said, okay, uh, the carpet. How's the carpet? It's good. I don't know. Shaggy? That's what I'm talking about. You like classic. classic. Now, all we got to do is change shit to poop. And we've got time. Oh, no, no, no. That's exactly this, what we need to stand up comedy today. This guy's basically almost a pro. He's I, a semi-pro. He's probably trying to sharpen his skills. That's why he's coming here. And he's probably trying to learn every four-letter word he doesn't know because Asians can't say that. My like, point exactly. Like shitty bank. My it, point shitty exactly. Bank. My point shitty exactly. Bank. He's a pro and he knows shitty how to bank do it. Is shitty if, he bank. Needed, is, if he needed is, to dirty up his, his it, act, then he would see you. Is I he agree. a comic or an Asian comic? Uh, I, I think he's a stereotype Asian comic. Which is good because okay. he fits that, that perfect minority. Okay, I think I But the thing cool. is, like I, I said, he's he's almost polished. Yeah. He, he just needs you know to what? to get a little bit more edge to him. The middle was really confident. The middle, and I, what I want to do is I want to take him and get him starting where he was in the middle. I like because I, like I and I think I think this is someone we could we could help. Yeah, I think he's cool. I like his mother. I like his mother, the Scooby Doo mother. I like this. She's cool. She's cool. She, <laughs> she has she has flavor. She has flavor. She has something to say. She's she's Scooby Doo. I like Scooby Doo. I like I could do that. I could work with Scooby Doo and mother character. I is like that very much. Yeah, very much. Is it flavor? It's flavor. It's flavor. Very flavor. That's a flavor. Or flavor. 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 And I'm so glad to be here today. You know, at my age, I'm glad to be anywhere. And that, I, my friends, is how it's done. Yes. 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 He is yes. the prototype. Yes. I love this guy. Yes. He's, yes. Like, he's yes. like a mini George Burns. Yes. If he had a cigar, he'd be almost like George Burns. And I think, I, 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 the one thing I've always believed in is comedy is for any age as long as you include the word There we go! God damn it, he does it again. Old people? Don't touch this guy. Don't touch him. He's great the way he is. I'm not going to touch him. He's too old for me. It's never stopped you before. <laughs> I think... I think old people are funny people. Because, you know, they, they, they really are themselves and they don't care about the status quo or fitting in. They are the best characters that you will find. Everyone else has got facades that old people don't care. They don't even wear deodorant. You know, they don't even dress. They, they, they wear the old things of the yesteryear. They, they really are about themselves. Thank you, Miss Desmond. What, what, what I love is that he laughs at his jokes, which I usually hate in a comic because I usually think it's insecurity. But with him, the takes are so great, it, ex it actually adds to it. I love that. When's the last time somebody laughed at one of your jokes, Mousy? It was a lot sooner than your jokes. Why do you call him Mousy? Because he's a mouse. He's Mickey Mouse. Squeak, 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 squeak. He runs around Mickey Mouse. Hello, my name is Cindy Shields, and I'm very excited about going to stand-up college. I, I have two grown children who are going to college, and they, you know, they didn't think it would be really fun for me to follow them. So I, I just want to believe that there's hope for a post-traumatic PTA volunteer who's enduring menopause. And, you know, between that and death, I'd like to think there's... You know, there's more to life. And, hey, it's 2011, not just a new year, also my weight. <laughs> and I know what to do with her. She needs the confidence to pause because <gasps> she's funny, her material is funny, but she's steamrolling it. Yeah. And that's, I mean, this is someone we can take from here to here. She's like a block of clay, you, you, and you can mold it. And, and she's it funny. And she's just and, naturally funny. And she's and clean. Funny. Thank you. God. Yes. Thank she brings you. a lot of you joy know, to comedy. I, like her. I yeah. I I I don't think she's right for the college. She's okay for you guys. You guys, yeah. But she she can never be really foul mouthed. She can never be really get down and do X rated material and cuss and swear and everything she else. She talked about her tits. She's Why? more about you guys. She and, talked you about know. Why do you have to swear and cuss in order Everybody to be has a to. student at this college? Everybody has I to learn that. I think her style is fine, and I think she should get in here. And if you do. Anything to try to change her, I'm going to poke you in the eye with this pencil right here. Oh, here. Isn't there... Go ahead. Oh, poke oh, God. Me. Not damn. this routine oh. again. Isn't, isn't, <laughs> isn't there room for everyone at the end? Not, yeah, not according is. to him. But, but uh, like I said, I can't ever teach her any... You know, she's not going to swear and cuss and be foul and... You know, then so we'll write a curriculum. You guys do whatever you want with we'll her. We'll write a curriculum she's where yours. she can avoid your dick joke class. Do whatever you want with her. 
Oh, okay. She doesn't have to have dick jokes. Yes, the reason I'm auditioning is because uh, I'd like my legs to stop becoming vibro massage chairs while I'm standing up here. Um, So I can get a little more confidence and be a cool, bitter comic like everyone else. Hey, Miles, that was your brother up there. Hmm. I was born to teach that man. Don't you poke that in my face. Especially when I'm going to light a fire. Yeah. I like him. You know, he's got like a, like a, like a Woody Allen-ish, snebbish kind of thing that, uh, that I thought worked. So. Yeah, he's got a lot of nervous energy, except that his material was on a snot rag. Did you hmm. see that? You should like that. Well, I'll tell you what's in the name. People think the warring world is over oil and gold and all this. I'll tell you, it's about names. Just look at some of the names that's involved. For instance, Condoleezza Rice. Come on, that sounds like a side dish, right? I'm going to have some steak, potatoes, and Condoleezza Rice. Condo, Condoleezza Rice. Ding! Colin Powell? That sounds like an illness, right? What's wrong, baby? Mama, I think I got the Colin Powell. Yeah, come on. Dick Cheney. Now, that's something you find at a porn shop. I'll take some nipple clamps, KY jelly, and a Dick Cheney. Yeah. And that porno starring George Bush. Because when Bush and Dick get together, somebody's going to get f***ed. <laughs> and it's been we, the American people. I thought, I thought Stevie Mac was like, like, just incredible, like almost Bill Crosby and and who's the other guy? The 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 one that uh, I never saw Bill Cosby's tummy. Yeah, but but what's the other guy's name? Um, Stevie had fart and poop jokes. Yeah, I love no, it. You'd love, I you love laugh it. the whole time. But he reminds me of somebody, and I just can't place him. He, he was on uh, Flip Wilson. Flip Wilson. He reminded Flip me of Wilson Flip Wilson. Wilson didn't do stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, he did all the time in the oh, clubs. He did all the time. He was dirty and filthy. No, what he needs is cleaner jokes mm. and a T-shirt that fits. He no, needs, no, 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 no. He then he'd be fat upward. He needs something no, else too. He needs a neck. Yeah, I agree. Trying to control my vagina. I can't even control my vagina. It's a serious situation. Yesterday, there was a knock at my door, and it was my ex-boyfriend. And I said, what are you doing here? I said, I never wanted to see you again. He said, I know, but your vagina sent me a text message and said she needed to see me ASAP. <sighs> Stupid taxi! <sighs> I'm no, sorry. No, go ahead. No, go, no. no, go ahead. No, I'm go ahead. To kill myself. All right, then I'll do it. No, no, no. 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 <laughs> I mean, really... It, I, this, she's a poster child for your class. That's all I got. I'm so. sorry. I, I don't mean to be a prude, but hoo-ha does not equal ha-ha. Yeah, exactly. Ooh, exactly. My goodness. I'm sorry. Did you hear what came out of Fernando's mouth? She talked about her vagina. I yeah. loved it. Yeah, she Fernando, brought it out you should do that. She brought See, it out of me. That's the comedy. No, 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 that's no, no, comedy no. there. She talked about her vagina and hating men, and mm. she says asshole a lot. I mean, if you really like that sort of person, I don't see the character Which you there. do. Mm-hmm. But you need to get laid. Oh, yeah. Which you won't. <laughs> I want to share with you about my American dream that I want to be a porn star. I think that it is so wonderful to get paid to do something that I now pay for. Here are some impressions of uh, Al Pacino and Sean Connery. I am Sean Connery. Welcome to the rock. Can't to say I am here. Rock is funny guy. Rock. Yeah, you know he tried to do James Bond and the uh, Steve Sean Connery accent. The guy has potential. Yeah, I think so. No, he's got good I energy. So. I like him. Yeah. He's, he's I think he needs jokes. glasses, but I liked him. <laughs> no, it, it was good. I like the very time conscious. Mm-hmm. Funny yeah. guy. He said he wants to be a porn star. Nice guy. Isn't that what you want to do? Be porn star, but you mm. want up here? <laughs> Just like me? Mm. Sweetie. Yeah, I've never seen an Asian do Sean Connery before, so that was, that was good. That's not bad. My, my mentors are like Bob Hope. That's like my favorite comic. I don't care. I know a lot of black comics like Richard Pryor, but Bob Hope is my favorite comic because he has the best timing in the business. And then the guy was never at home. That's what I want to be. I don't want to be ever at home. Man, the man should wear a suit with a tie, with some nice slacks, and some shoes that, that le- looked halfway decent. He's perfect. He's I, perfect for the college. I, 
Well, I, yeah, I, if they remake Sanford and Son. Like, he's like Red Fox and Richard Pryor all rolled up into Bob's Hope's ass. Yeah, I, and your bull I, and crap all rolled up into one. I, you know, you know see, but what you don't understand, what you understand is that the man's got to be on. He represents him. See what I'm saying? What I'm saying is like this. What I'm saying like this. Check it out. Check it out. He, 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 his role model is like Bob Hope, right? But he dressed like DM, Ron DMC. But he don't know he do that shit, right? Because he raising kids. See, he trying to be a role model and everything. He trying to represent. But I'm saying you just got to let him have a lot of role and roll with it. You know, we can probably change him and I'll give him another outfit. He got to know his character. See, he don't know who he is because he raising, he raising kids and he trying to be everybody. Everybody, you know, everybody. You know. I, I thought he was very urban. <laughs> My name is Sarah Martin. Um, I'm not funny, but I'm here to learn to tell jokes and be funny, I guess, at Comedy College. Um, I guess that's it. Sorry. Could you say your name? Your name. Is he still on the phone? you auditioned. We are so glad you didn't make it.